The Encouraging Devotion, 13th chapter of the Lotus Sutra describes in its 20-line verse section the three kinds of powerful opponents who will persecute those who strive to spread the Sutra's teachings in the latter day of the law. Known as the three powerful enemies, they are defined as 1. Arrogant lay people, 2. Arrogant monks, and 3. Arrogant false sages. All are described as arrogant because they display various kinds of haughtiness and conceit, believing themselves superior to or greater than other people. 1. Arrogant lay people are those ignorant of Buddhism who persecute practitioners of the Lotus Sutra. The Sutra explains that they will subject the Sutra's practitioners to slander, cursing and speaking ill of them, or even attacking them with weapons such as swords and staves. 2. Arrogant monks are Buddhist clergy who slander the Lotus Sutra's practitioners. Because their understanding is flawed and their hearts crooked, they fail to understand the truth of the Buddhist teachings. And yet, attached to their own ways of thinking and believing themselves superior to others, they harass and persecute those who uphold the correct teaching. 3. Arrogant false sages are seemingly respect-worthy monks or priests whom people regard as sages. Typically, they reside in places removed from society. Consumed with greed and the desire for profit, they harbor ill will and contrive to undermine or deceive practitioners of the Lotus Sutra. Their usual tactic is to approach the ruler, senior officials, or others in authority and make false claims about the practitioners, such as declaring them to be persons of mistaken views, in an attempt to motivate those in power to oppress them. The Lotus Sutra describes the condition in which a person's heart or mind falls under the influence of such evil with the statement, evil demons will take possession of others. It teaches that, in the latter day of the law, those who practice the sutra will be repeatedly assailed and driven off by those who have succumbed to evil impulses. Of these three powerful enemies, it is said that, though one may be able to endure the first and the second, the third is the most formidable and pernicious. The reason is that it is quite difficult to perceive and recognize the true nature of such esteemed religious figures of high-status arrogant false sages. In the latter day of the law, whenever there are those who spread the teachings of the Lotus Sutra, these three powerful enemies will appear and attempt to interfere and obstruct such efforts. Because of his efforts to spread the Lotus Sutra, Nichiren Daishonin faced persecutions brought about by these three powerful enemies just as the Sutra predicts, thus proving that he was the votary of the Lotus Sutra in the latter day. Thank you.